Hi, open Excel Module 1 SAM Textbook Project. Go ahead and click Start, and then you'll have to, this is the reading to follow the directions in the book, and then you click the Start file to open that up. It opens on the left-hand side on the bottom. Go ahead and click that to open up the Excel, Excel spreadsheet. Enable the editing, and we'll begin. The first page, 1-2, goes over the layout of Excel. So you can go ahead and read through that on your own, but we'll actually start. Um, the first thing they want you to do is click in B4, and that's the active cell. You can tell by the green box that encloses it. If you click a different one, that one will be the active cell. And if you're not sure where it is, you always label by the column name first, B, and then the row, 11. And if you're still not sure where it's located, if you look up here, this is called the name box, and that tells you exactly where your active cell is located. They call it a cell address, and that would be D7, and there you have D7. If you were to click and have the open plus in a particular cell and hold the left mouse and drag, you're actually selecting a range, and that would be B4 through B11. Even though the first cell is not shaded gray, you can tell by the green uh, shadow box around it that the whole range is B4 to B11. So you just click anywhere to deselect that. The first thing we're going to do is uh, name this file. So file, save as, go to where you save your files. And the name of this one, if you ever have the parentheses one, that's usually a copy of a file, so make sure you get rid of that. And then instead of the uh, dash, it's going to be an underscore postings with an S, and then an underscore in your name, and your name should be together. So go ahead and save that. The next thing we'll do is we'll click in F, three and type total. Now you can press enter, but the book will always refer to you to click this check mark in the formula bar, which is the same thing as pressing enter. The only difference is if I press enter on the keyboard, it's gonna bring me down to the next cell below it. But if I click the check mark, it stays in, still in that active cell. The next thing we'll do is we'll click A12 and we'll add one more, Vancouver. And then we'll press tab and we'll fill in the amounts for Vancouver. So 120, tab, 130, 117, and 130. In B3, where the dates are, press delete. Just the regular delete key on your keyboard. And then this time we're gonna select C3 all the way to E3 and delete all of these. So you can do it one at a time or all at the same time. So we'll delete that. And then in B3, we're gonna type quarter one, quarter space one, and you can use your check mark. Then we want it to continue quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. Again, hover over to that little green box in the right-hand corner on the bottom and drag across. And as you're dragging across, you'll see two, three, and four. So you have all four quarters. Then you'll click in B4, and then in the formula bar, which is up here, so I'll click in B4, if you click to the left of the, of the four and press the delete key, and we'll type three. So you're just replacing the four with the three, and then you can use your check mark. This is different ways of editing cells. The next one, when you select B6, you're just selecting the cell, and again, you could change the number in the formula bar, or, so right now the cell is active, but to actually edit the cell, press F2. And then you can see that the flashing cursor is in there. And what we'll do here is backspace, so that we're gonna get rid of the one and have a nine. And again, you can use your check mark or press enter. So F2 makes the cell active. What you could also do is instead of just clicking a cell once, double click it and it makes the cell active. Or F2 makes the cell active. Now we'll click H6. 
And this, again, if you're not sure, always look at your name box. And we're going to double click the word max so that when you're in the cell and you double click, it actually selects the whole word. And instead, we want to spell it out. And then we can press enter. And then in H7, we're just going to um, go ahead and, and click either to the left of minimum or after the end or double click so that you're to the, to the right of it and then finish it. So it's minimum and enter. So you just um, change the abbreviations to the word spelled out. Then we'll go to F3 and we're going to copy the word total. So just do your regular copy like you would in Word. And then to open up the clipboard, the little um, dialog box launcher, and it opens up your clipboard. I've already copied it once before. And then we'll click in A13, and then you can just click the top part of the paste button here in the clipboard, or you could actually just click the total. It'll go right in there. You just, um, again, the, the um, clipboard will hold up to 24 items in there. Um, so we just, I have two of the same right now. Uh, these, this is a paste options button, and if you were to, sometimes when you're copying, if you just didn't, if you didn't want the bold or some type of fancy font, you could change it where it's just keep the source formatting or merge it into the current formatting. But when we don't want this at all to get out of it, just press escape twice, and that gets you out of the paste options. Now we're going to select H5 to H7. And what we want to do is move it over here to A15. So to move, it's the four arrows, and you just hold and drag. So you're moving them from column H to the bottom of um, column A. And we can close the clipboard pane. Select F4. So that's right underneath the total, and we're going to do a, a basic calculation. So anytime you want to do a formula, you must start with equals. And then we'll actually click B4, and then press the plus key on the keyboard, number keypad, and then select C4 plus D4 plus E4. And as you go across the columns, they're all color-coded, and B4 is in blue, so you see the cells in blue. C4 is in red and so forth, purple and green. So that's your range. Go ahead and do the check mark and it's added those four cells. So you should have the correct amount of um, 614. Then we'll click in B13, which is the, all the total of quarter one. And again, this time you wouldn't want to use a formula to go B4 plus B5 plus B6 and so forth. There's a shortcut feature and it's called auto sum. And you'll click this um, symbol here, which is the um, sigma symbol, which is the auto sum, or you could click the down arrow and it's the very first one, which is the sum. And it automatically knows that you want to have the formula equal sum, and it's selecting the range for you, B4 through B12. Perfect, you can press enter or enter on the formula bar, which is the check mark. So in B4, what we want to do is have this um, calculation continue all the way down to row 12. So if you hover over the right-hand side, and I'll just stop for a second before I go on, just to show you that the amount is 614, but what was the formula? If you look up in the formula bar, you can see that we actually type equals B4 plus C4 plus D4 plus E4. So the columns are B, C, D, and E, but we're on row 4. When we use our fill handle and go all the way to 12, it puts in all the calculations for us. And if I were to check each uh, of the totals, you'll notice it's always going to be B plus C plus D plus E, but it's row 5, row 6, row 7. That's called relative cell reference. They're related. Then we'll click in B13, and we'll, we'll drag this all the way to F13. And the same thing happens. If you were to look in the formula, it was adding the sum of all of B4 through B12. This will be C4 through C12, D4 through D12, E4, and etc. F4. Click in G3 and type percent 
So in G3, percent of total. And this calculation is, is a um, little complex, but you'll start with your equals, and then you'll click F4, which is the total, and we want to divide by, so the divide symbol, by F13, which is the total. So we're taking the Boston's total and dividing by the grand total. So I'll click that one, and then again, do the check mark. So the percentage of sales at the Boston store made was 14.2%. And again, we'll use the handle and go all the way down. So you can see, now do you notice that the answers are not accurate, they're divide by zero? So I'll explain. So if we're in the very first one, it was F4, which was this Boston amount, divided by F13. Now if we press the down arrow, it's going to want to do F five, which is correct, the Miami total, but now it thinks you want to move down to row 14. And then this was correct for the Chicago, but it's wanting to move. It's not staying with that grand total of F13. So what you'll do is you'll click in the formula bar and you'll press F4. And what that does is it puts a dollar sign in front of the F and a dollar sign in, 13, in front of the 13. So it's telling it to never change the second part of the division problem. It'll always be divided by the 4,380. 4, so now I'll do my check mark and then redo my fill handle and the, the amounts are accurate. So if we were to look at the formula bar now, it's um, for F4, which is Boston, divided by the grand total. The next one is F5, Miami, divided by the grand total. So the F13 never changes. Just the first part of the calculation changes. So that's called absolute cell reference. Click in J3 and type this year. And then you'll click either the check mark or press enter. And then in K3, you're gonna type a formula, which is equals, and it's that total F13. Press enter, so it just puts in the, the amount that is in F13. And then we'll click in J5. And J5, you'll type percent increase. And then you can use the check mark or I, I press tab. And the formula in K5 is equals, and then you're going to put in parentheses, because remember the PEMDAS, you please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, follows the um, same, Excel follows the same rules for the math. So it's going to do inside the parentheses first. So it's going to be K3, which is this year's total amount, minus previous year's amount, close the parentheses, and then we'll divide by K1. And then go ahead and check mark. And then right now it's in decimal form, so we're gonna click the percent symbol, so it's 2%, but we're gonna increase it so that we have two places after the, the decimal place, so I'm gonna click increase decimal once, twice. So the increase for, was between this year and last year, not much, but um, it's a little bit, 2.41%. I'm gonna stop here and start part two video. There's not much left, but I'm gonna run out of time because I only have 15 minutes per video. So I'll continue in a moment.